Hey guys, we are finally back with some more Strixhaven content. Now that the set's been out for a while, we're taking a look at some more obscure combos that you can try to pull off with these new cards. So here are three of my favorite Strixhaven commander combos. First up, we have Elemental Expressionist. He makes 4 4s and is a 4 4 for 4. Huh, wh why do I really want a cheeseburger right now? Wendy's 4 for 4 is now better than ever because it's the deal with more variety than ever. With eight Hashtag not a sponsor, but like, Wendy's hit me up. Elemental Expressionist says, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, choose target creature you control. Until end of turn, it gains, if this creature would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else, and when this creature is put into exile, create a 4-4 blue and red elemental creature token. This ability might seem kind of hard to combo with at first because you have to exile your own creatures in order to get the 4-4s, four but there is one way to get around that drawback. The replacement effect won't actually do anything if we're exiling the creature in the first place. This works in the same way as the unearth mechanic, which has the same wording. To take advantage of this, we're going to need Essence Flux and a Dual Caster Mage. First, we cast the Essence Flux on any of our creatures, and then in response, we cast the Dual Caster Mage. When Dual Caster Mage ETBs, we make a copy of Essence Flux, and then we target Dual Caster Mage with the copy. Because we copied a spell, Elemental Expressionist will trigger it, so we can make his ability also target the Dual Caster Mage. Now, we can let the Essence Flux copy resolve, so we exile the Dual Caster Mage and bring him back. This will make a 4-4, and when the Dual Caster Mage comes back, we can make a copy of the original Essence Flux again, since it's still on the stack, and then repeat this loop for infinite 4-4s. Now I know that Dual Caster Mage with Flicker Spells is a pretty well-known infinite combo, but Elemental Expressionist is a good payoff in a deck with a ton of Flicker Spells. You normally don't want to run too many of them, since they need a good creature to be useful, but if we have Elemental Expressionist on the board, then at the very least Essence Flux can make us a 4-4 at instant speed for 1 mana. I haven't seen people talk about this card very much, but it might end up being a new staple in Flicker archetypes. For our next combo, we're using the chonkiest one mana creature in Magic, Phyrexian Dreadnought. This guy is a one mana 12 12 with Trample, but when you play it, you have to either sacrifice 12 power worth of creatures or make the Dreadnought sacrifice itself. I haven't seen anybody talk about this yet, but one of the new face commanders from C21 synergizes perfectly with this guy. I'm talking about Osgear the Reconstructor. Osgear works great with the Dreadnought if we stack our triggers correctly. Let's run through how the strategy works. We have Osgear on the board, and then we play the Dreadnought for 1 mana and sacrifice it to its own ability. Then we use Osgear to exile the Dreadnought from our graveyard and make 2 token copies of it. Now they both have ETBs, so we put them on the stack. For Dreadnought 1's trigger, we will choose to sacrifice 12 power worth of creatures. Since Dreadnought 2 has 12 power, we can just sack that and resolve this ETB. Now Dreadnought 2's trigger will resolve, so for that one, we choose to make Dreadnought 2 sacrifice itself, which doesn't do anything because it's already dead. So after we're all done, we spent 2 mana to make a 12-12 token with Trample. I'm no expert, but that seems pretty dang good to me, even if your Oscar deck isn't very combat focused. You might want to grab a headlamp for this last one, because we're delving deep into the caves of Jankdom. A lot of players might not know this, but there's a mono black extra turn spell in Magic. Temporal Extortion costs 4 black mana and lets you take an extra turn. Not only that, but this card also has more text! That means it's even better! Let's see here, when you cast this spell, any player may pay half their life rounded up. If a player does, counter Temporal Extortion. Nice, so this card not only lets you take an extra turn, it also allows one of your opponents to pay half of their life instead. Okay, but that's worse. I mean, you, you, you do get how that's worse, right? The sad truth is that you almost never get a great benefit from this card. Somebody else just pays half of their life and the spell gets countered, or if you don't have anything on the board, then they might just let you take an extra turn since you aren't a threat. But either way, the fact that it's up to your opponents makes it much worse than it would be otherwise. But there is one new commander from Strixhaven that happens to have an ability that synergizes amazingly with this card, and also happens to be in the exact colors we need to do even more shenanigans with it. 
Willow Dusk Essence Seer lets you pay one and tap her to put plus one plus one counters on a creature equal to how much life you gained this turn, or how much life you lost this turn. The easiest way to abuse her is to just lose a ton of life somehow and then use her to put a ton of counters on a cheap creature with lifelink. Then you can attack with a giant lifelinker to gain all of your life back. You may have already figured out where I'm going with this, but Temporal Extortion has a hidden mode in this deck. You can just pay half of your life to counter your own spell. If you're at full health, then that will let you put 20 plus 1 plus 1 counters on one of your guys with Willow Dusk. Yes, playing a 4 mana sorcery just to half kill yourself is a huge meme, but having that extra mode means this card will have a much higher floor in a Willow Dusk deck. Also, even if you don't pay your own life, Temporal Extortion synergizes really well with Willow Dusk's play pattern. If you make some giant trampoly creature with Willow Dusk, then you can just play Temporal Extortion and tell the table, I'm gonna attack anyone that counters this spell. Depending on the situation, there's a decent chance that nobody counters it, because losing half of their life might mean that they'll die to your attack. Now I know this card already seems amazing in this deck, but there's also a third reason that you should be playing Temporal Extortion. And that reason is Willow Dusk has green. That means you can play Veil of Summer in your Willow Dusk deck. Veil of Summer makes it so that your spells can't be counted for a turn. So if you play Veil of Summer and then play Temporal Extortion, then you're guaranteed to take an extra turn. Now sadly, you can't play Temporal Extortion first, wait for someone else to pay life, and then play Veil of Summer in response because the spell gets countered as soon as someone pays life. However, you can play Veil of Summer first, and then play Temporal Extortion and pay half of your own life to attempt to counter the spell just to make yourself lose a lot of life for Willow Dusk. So we've essentially built a janky 2 card 5 mana time warp that says take an extra turn, also you can pay half of your life for no reason if you want to. Each of these synergies individually might be too janky to justify playing Temporal Extortion, but I think the fact that we have 3 layers of synergy here might actually make it a good option. Alrighty, now we're back to the MTG Trivia Corner. Our question from last week was, besides Draco, how many non-silver border cards have a unique converted mana cost? The answer is... Only two. Emrakul the Promised End is the only 13 CMC card, and Blink Moth Infusion is the only 14 CMC one. Some of you may have gotten tripped up by OG Emrakul, thinking it was the only 15 CMC card, but there is actually a second one named Autochton Worm that I have literally never seen anyone play before. If you got this one right, then give yourself the customary tofu point. Alrighty, now for today's trivia question. Which of the following has never appeared on the type line of a magic creature card? Keep in mind that, like always, we're going by oracle text, and we're only counting legal cards, so no silver border stuff here. Our options are A. Deserter B. Ferret C. Merfolk Goblin D. Lizard Wizard or E. None, as in a creature that didn't have any creature types. So yeah, keep in mind that four of these are real creature types that have appeared on a creature card before. So for a whopping 20 bonus tofu points, try and name the cards that satisfy the four real answers. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss the answer in the next video. Thanks for watching.